Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody freak out. They're fixing old school. The problems that were called out are being fixed. Let's go. I'm ready. So if you haven't heard all the controversy surrounding old school RuneScape in the past couple of weeks, somebody dedicated loads of time making an HD client add-on for RuneLite to make the game look good, and old school just kind of shut it down last minute. But after huge outrage from the community, everybody was supporting him, everybody was complaining, it made it to the top of Reddit at one point, the HD client is here, it looks beautiful, and I'm ready to show it to you guys. Anybody else tired of the game looking like this? Yeah, me too. So look at the difference here. It could be like this, or at the click of a button, it could be this. This is literally on par with RuneScape 3, or whatever they're calling the RuneScape that people don't really play as much. But the new one, it looks as good as the new one. It's so nice. It's so nice. Like, look at the shadowing, everything. It, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Very, very good work. Now, don't get your hopes up too high expecting graphics like Call of Duty or something super realistic, but I mean, coming from a game that's based in 2007 that, as my girlfriend described as that ugly game when talking about old school, I mean, how can you be upset? It went from being basically one almost monochromatic color scheme for most things to this. It actually pops now. It actually looks good. It's enticing to play. Like, this could be a reason why people come to RuneScape that haven't been playing it. You know, I feel like a lot of my friends that I tried to get into it when they didn't actually have the nostalgia factor would just fall out of the game because, you know, it's kind of hard to look at on top of being a grind. So the fact that you can actually make it look nice, like, look, look at this. It's beautiful. They actually made it look somewhat modern. I'm curious to see as time goes if this will increase the player base at all because, I mean, it actually looks like an inviting game now. I could totally see this being a turning stone for RuneScape to actually start growing in player size again, as opposed to just the same group of people making, you know, 55 accounts and just playing on those. Not saying the RuneScape community was dying or anything, it definitely has a hardcore following, but... You know, it would be nice to get some new players introduced to the game, maybe, you know, fix the economy of the game a bit. It, 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 this looks like it could be steps in the right direction, but maybe I'm too hopeful. All right, I'm gonna speed it up just by about 50%, just so I can show you, like, look at, like, look at this, look at this. It actually looks so nice. I'm just gonna show you the difference in the graphics on and off again one more time. And then after that, I will show you guys what settings you want to download and how you want to add that plugin on if you actually are using RuneLight. Seeing a blue this vibrant in RuneScape almost feels wrong. Like, look at that. It this looks eerie, but at the same time, it looks cool. So here, I'll take it off. It doesn't look bad. You know, it's not awful, but it just it just doesn't have the same effect. So I'll go back up top and see what it looks like without it up top. You know, it's fine. It's one of the newer places in Escape to an extent, but then, I mean, it's just, it's night and day. I, I, I'm very happy. Over here by the entrance to Temporos, just showing you guys a different area just so you can see the effect of it in, like, the desert landscape or just, you know other areas so it's not just one spot that I show you guys in the video but the main point of this is I'll show you how to add the plugin it's the one at the top the 117 HD so you're gonna want to open up your little tab arrow to the side and then click the plugin hub at the bottom and it should be in the top couple for suggested for me it's at the very top as you can see and then you'll just install that plugin and turn it on and then there's also the settings wheel if you want to increase the brightness which I'd suggest just increasing it a little bit because places like uh, catacombs Kurloom, or however you want to say that like places like that are a little dark so for stuff like that it's not bad i turned on shadows and everything which i think does add just another dimension to it looking nice if your computer can't handle running the spec super crazy then i mean don't worry about it but for instance i'm playing this on a laptop right now to show you guys and it's a couple year old laptop it's nothing spectacular and i mean it's a gaming laptop but it's still running very smoothly, so this doesn't really seem to hinder performance. Maybe if you're out there PKing and every little tick counts, don't do this, but as far as I can tell, it runs perfectly smooth. Alright, so I have this sped up by about four times, as you can see, just so you can see some more of the map in this nice little update. 
uh, I'm running up to go to the catacombs of Karen and attack some fire giants, which, uh, as you'll see, it definitely looks different in the whole area. Like, there's a different ambiance to it almost, which is nice. You come down here and, like, there's this purple glow and all these effects. And this is before I'm pretty sure I even had shadows turned on because I didn't know you could do that at this point. But it still looks almost like there are shadows just because of how fast the lights are glowing. But, I mean, I can't complain. This is very nice looking. So yeah, I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Do you like the update? Are you glad that they finally added it? Do you think that they're going to continue to update the graphics as we move forward? So maybe like bosses will have different animations or something of the sort. Do you also think that this would maybe add some kind of intrigue to the game from people who aren't already interested in it? Or is it just going to stay about the same, but the people who play it are just going to be happier? Either way, I don't see any negatives to this so far. Very excited. Thank you, Jagex. And most importantly, thank you guys, the viewers, whoever is out there watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it does help me as I'm trying to grow this channel. Thank you guys so much. Mwah. Love you.